Hello, so let's continue with my walkthrough of Green Castle Bubble Exodus. Oh yeah, so we didn't see what this guy had to say, so basically just bags, gin and gem, and fair enough. They are very annoying. We will fight them three times in this game. But oh well. They're not very difficult at any point that you fight them, so yeah. Let's see what it's like in Mask Canyon. Also, I know I said um, we shouldn't equip Green Castle with Chris Knight or, or, or sorry, Kyle because then they wouldn't have dark or metal element. But as it turns out, the Chris Knight changes your attacking element to metal. So I've equipped Kyle with Chris Knight since he has the highest attacking rating of anyone in the party. Anyway, Death Claws, um, although not very durable, can do a fair bit of damage physically. So we want to kill them first. Uh, these parasites can poison us. Basically, as we may have remembered, means we lose health points. Uh, and as you just saw, um, Death Claws can do a fair bit of damage. And now everyone's poisoned. Join the party, Green Castle. Now let's focus on the middle parasite, since he's taken the most damage, I think. I'm not sure why he would have, so probably not. Anyway, we're all poisoned, so this fight isn't as one as it looks. Maybe it is. Yeah, I think it is. It's pretty one. And also, we can't go back to Green Castle's house yet, because, um... Well, Jin and Jen are blocking our way. Yes, we will have to fight them again. But you know, why fight them now? Why not fight them until after we've been through Mask Canyon and Hansa Manor? Anyway, now we got some pawns, and maybe it's a good idea to spend them. Chris, being our weakest member, will take this. And Constitution is the first thing we should upgrade, since that means he can survive for longer. A goodie, more death claws and parasites. The exact same lineup. So this shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, so we continue to see the attacking power of the death claw while we just deteriorate away at it. We also, it, we can, it's hard to just acknowledge just how bad the AI in this game is. I mean, the fact that they're trying to talk to Green Castle, even though he's already poisoned, and therefore it will do absolutely nothing, just shows that, um, he didn't have, um, AI as his number one, as the number one thing on his mind. Anyway, that death core is dead. <coughs> and they finally decide that there's no point in giving Green Castle toxin. Well done, you should be very proud. Should I fork tech? I don't see why I should, so no. Let's just focus on this one. It has less health points. Now Kyle, who is still not poisoned, can finish up that parasite. Yeah, the parasites can't do much physical damage. <coughs> so we should just attack them. And, uh... The combined attack of all three of us easily trumps theirs. So anyway, some more pawns to upgrade Chris some more. And I think we want to upgrade his strength. That way we'll be able to kill the death claws more easily. There. Okay. So let's go further into Hounds of Manor. I'm planning, no, this is Mask Canyon. What am I saying? And here we meet the Manticores. Um, yeah, they look a bit like Rebus, but they're absolutely nothing like them, really. They don't do much physical damage, but they resist spells, which means nothing to us at the moment. And, um, they're pretty durable. 
Let's just kill the death claw first. The death claw being the biggest threat of the three. They can also cast Tail Sting, which is the same as Toxin from the Parasites. This is probably when the game is at its hardest, at the start of um, Mask Canyon. But it gets a little easier after this. Since we just cower away and meet Ben, who will be our next character that we meet. And then he'll just own the area. But enough of that. Let's focus on this fight and kill in particular this Manticore. Which is killing Green Castle faster than you can say kill Green Castle. Looks like this may end up as a battle of the knights versus the parasite. Which should turn out well for us. I'd be very annoyed if it didn't. Anyway, Green Castle's dead, but Yeah, don't bother with Earth hit in this area. These guys are all dark type element. And um Dark resists Earth, so it does no more damage. And just wastes your tech points. Oh what the heck? Earth hit for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Okay, and now the parasite should be dead. Yay, more pawns. Like Chris is getting upgraded again. And let's give him a wisdom upgrade. Doesn't give him any more text, but um it should mean that it, it gets closer to getting some more text, so and we'll fight this treasure chest. So the chests themselves can't do anything, but these pigeons can. They have a tech called Dark Force, which does significant damage. Yeah, I think we're gonna die. What am I saying? Think. Okay, Carl's dead. Luckily, treasure chest idols every single time. So you can always depend on the treasure chest to help you out whenever you're not doing so well. Anyway, instead of doing the very effective um the very effective Tech Dark Force, that pigeon did Toxin, as did that one. And now perhaps we stand a chance. So we're not going to do any attacks on the um, treasure chest since there's no point. It can't do any fighting whatsoever. Okay, the pigeon continues to waste its turns, and this fight is in the bag. Unfortunately, they have durable defense, so we just lose a bit of time when fighting these. But oh well. The treasure chest is dead, pretty much. Doesn't matter how low on health we are. You can't die to poison. If you have two health left and you're poison, then you go down to one. If you have one health left, then you don't lose any health. So poison can deteriorate you to near death, but it can't quite kill you, which is good. And now we get 400 pawns and the bronze snake, which we will equip to Chris. Um, the bronze snake doesn't do that much, though it makes you immune to being poisoned, which is pretty good in this era. But anyway, um, yeah, this will give you metal hit, upgrade your constitution. And your will. Okay, looks like this is going to be in this part. So, yeah, see you in the next part where we will venture into Hounds of Manor in order to retrieve Ben the Bishop. After which we get him, this area will be a snap. So, see you in the next part.